everybody. Happy Thank Dog It's Friday. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm Hilary Buholz, and I'm here, as usual, with the lovely Patty Quinn. Hi, everybody. And we're the co-founders of We Heart Hounds. And on Fridays, we tend to do kind of a fun, dog-inspired little episode so everybody can join us live and see what we're up to. And this time, we're doing a bit of a cool and crunchy Kong sickle. And I have two dogs that would guarantee these ones are going to be loved by pretty much the <laughs> so, And if there's something that we're, something in this recipe that you think your dog wouldn't like, they're absolutely substitutable. So, yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. To get us started, um, you're going to need some Kongs. And depending on the size of your dog, you're going to want, you know, a different size Kong. So this is sort of the regular size. I think it's a large yeah, mine's a large two, and I got a pretty blue one. <laughs> yeah, and this is the classic. So I think they have different, there's sort of an indestructible line that's a little bit tougher. There's a puppy line, and there's a senior that I saw for the first time that I probably would have picked up for Leon because he's my little senior guy. But <laughs> I got him just the small classic. Look how cute that is. Yeah. <laughs> so um, for our recipes, depending on the size of the Kong, you may need to kind of adjust the recipe just so that it'll fit in whichever column you're using. Right. So um, the first one, I'm, I actually, I'm going to lean on you, Patty, for the title of our... <laughs> <laughs> I think it's peanut butter puppy parfait or something like that. <laughs> Thank you. For some reason, Chunky Monkey was coming in my mind. Like, That's not right. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, the peanut butter puppy parfait version is going to have some apples, some peanut butter. Yep. I have to get about your strawberry yogurt, or if you wanted to use plain yogurt or vanilla yogurt, just make sure it doesn't have any artificial sweeteners in it because that can be toxic to dogs. And then the reason why Chunky Monkey was coming in my brain is we also have some banana chips that will be used in this recipe. Sounds good. It sounds delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so um, one of the things to note as you're starting out and kind of preparing your ingredients, I think it's a good idea to prepare them at the beginning. So for our apple, we're going to just chop that up right now so that because once you start actually layer, layering the Kong it goes together pretty quickly and it's a little bit challenging like you don't want to stop and have to do some prep work in the middle right, of it. right. and we have a, a couple of different recipes uh, in the tutorial that we put together so if you've got strawberries you'll, you're going to want to wash them and, and cut off the stems if you've got blueberries or, or regular bananas or whatever yeah just the prep work ahead of time always makes the the final putting it together a lot easier. So that's good. And for this, we're not gonna need a ton, uh, obviously depending on the size of your Kong, but we're not gonna need a ton of apple, not even quite half really. Um, you're gonna want little apple bits and at least one slice of apple okay. that we'll be using. So All right. I'm gonna go ahead and get to chopping. So how small should the bits be? I'd say a little smaller than a quarter, like I'll show you, maybe smaller than a quarter of an inch. Okay. Pretty little because you're... And we can keep the skin on and everything, right? Yep, I sure did. When I I have tested these and they are Leon and Lulu approved. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> Well, so, I'm where all the nutrients are too, so it's good that we can keep that on. So here's the, I'm just doing kind of. Okay. I think that's about the size I'm, I'm doing as well. It's fun to see you on location. <laughs> you get to see, you get to see my kitchen. <laughs> 
Our kitchen is well, so tiny that I don't have room to do this in my kitchen. <laughs> you'll also get to hear some puppy footprints uh, coming in the kitchen to see what I'm up to, I think. <laughs> so you have a little sous chef in there or two to help out? Yep. yep, I sure will. That's great. Well, especially if they've had these before, <laughs> they're going to know. Yeah. They know. They'll recognize the smell. They'll know exactly what's coming. I've got the peanut butter out, and so they're pretty intent on being in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stir my strawberry while you're cutting. Mine's got fruit on the bottom. Let's get that ready. So and I'm just going to make one apple slice that will be used. Okay. I think one of the things about the yogurt is we want it to be pretty liquefied, right? Or, or runny. Yeah, that'll make it a little bit easier to spoon in. And also kind of squish around all the ingredients that we're putting in as well. So, okay. So I have my little pile of apples here, a couple apple slices. Okay, perfect. And then once we get ready for the column part, we're going to start on the bottom plugging this hole. Okay. And the easiest way that I found to plug this hole was to plug it from the outside, not to try to jam something down in it. It just, right. that was more challenging. So I just take butter knife. Okay. You can do it with the back of the spoon or whatever too, but butter knife, I feel like works pretty well. And then grab a little bit of your peanut butter. Okay. And kind of jam it down onto. Good. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. We've got uh, Chef Hillary helping us out, make some Kong sickles, Kong sickles. <laughs> some puppy dog Kongs. We're going to freeze. This is the tiniest hole I've in the whole way. So good thing we got peanut butter to squish down in there. So here you can see it's a little messy around the outside. So I'm just going to take a paper towel and kind of wipe okay. it around the outside. That's not absolutely necessary. But if you want to keep your freezer clean, like while you're putting it in there, when <laughs> I think it's probably a good idea. <laughs> Hi, Julie. It's great to see you today. Thanks for watching with us. We love hanging out with you guys. It's a lot of fun. Peanut butter hole. All right. And then I just leave the peanut butter. You don't have to by any stretch, but or leave the napkin handy. Okay. Um, because this process can get a little messy. You, you'll be needing your fingers to uh, put the peanut butter in. So. Okay. <laughs> So first layer, um, and you can kind of think of this uh, like a lasagna or whatever, so you can kind of do as many layers as you need to, but the first layer will be your apples. So take some of your little apple pieces. All right, um, apples. Okay, are we, are we gonna do apples or bananas first? Oh, I'm sorry, you are absolutely right. Yeah, bananas, it doesn't matter, bananas. there's no rule. <laughs> it yeah. makes no difference. That's the fun part. And, you know, you can modify the recipe as you like. Uh, you can make it as healthy or or treat sweet as you'd like. So Hillary's got, you got the regular banana chips. I couldn't find those regular ones, so I got freeze dried. So these are a little healthier. Hillary's have, has uh, are a little sweeter, yep. <laughs> just like she is. <laughs> a little bit of sweetener in it. Um, sugar is actually what it's got. Um, for these, my dogs don't, for some reason, like the texture of actual fresh bananas. They like the yeah. flavor of bananas, but they don't like the texture of it. So these banana chips work out really well. And it kind of gives um, a change of texture as they're working their way through that column to try to find all the 
Good. Yeah, and it's that it's the crunchy part. The cool and crunchy conchicle. So we've got some crunch in there, which is nice. Um, do we break these up then, right? To fit them in? Yeah. Okay. And kind of the idea of having the smaller apple, the kind of broken up banana pieces is you want, once we start putting in the yogurt, we want it to be able to kind of mush around all of these different little chunks to okay. freeze it, kind of. Kind of glue it together. Yeah. yeah. The more dense we make these, the tougher the it will be, or the more challenging, I should say, it would be for our pups to to solve the puzzle or to, to play with the toy. So uh, we we want to make it, you know, extra fun and challenging. You don't want them to just have it solved in about two minutes. So. Yeah. Um, or to have, you could want them to kind of work at it. So you don't want it to just be able yeah. for them to kind of shake it and have all this, the items fall out. Right, right. So are you, are you still working on your banana chips? I'm just putting a couple more in. I've, okay. and, but I'm switching over to apples right now. So okay. I would say it's about, I, it's filled to about this point. Right okay, there. yep, I think that's where mine is. All right, cool. I think I'm going to make my apples a little smaller even because I've got Greek yogurt, so it's yeah, a little thicker. Be a little thicker. All right. How's everybody's Friday so far? You got some fun stuff planned for the weekend? So now I've added my apples and we're about right here in the call. Okay. And now I'm gonna spoon in some yogurt. Okay. You can get carried away. Like I didn't put that many apples in and I looked and all of a sudden it's <laughs> half full. So yeah, it's easy to get carried away with this. So like we said, this is, I'm, we're, we're both using strawberry yogurt, but you could use vanilla or plain or, you know, Whatever your you whatever you know your dog's gonna like, or you yeah. can take the yogurt and do peanut butter. Um, I am gonna put a little bit of peanut butter. This does a little surprise in the middle there, and you can kind of tap your tongue on your cutting board or on your paper towels to okay. kind of shake that yogurt down through some of those other. Right. So I'm gonna. Grab a little bit of peanut butter. This is a whole new level of devotion for your pups, right? <laughs> now, the chaos is, is it does keep them busy for a little while. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you could just put peanut butter on the end, put yogurt or fruit in it, and cover it with peanut butter and be done, or put dry treats and be done. But to have all these different textures and different flavors, I do think it really makes it a lot more fun for, for yeah. your pups. So I just added just a little dollop of peanut butter in the middle there. You okay. don't have to. That's I think I think my pups will enjoy that. So that was the reasoning <laughs> behind that one. All and right. now I'm gonna start adding in some more of the apples. So we're just kind of reverse layering back up. Okay. These are going to be so great for the, you know, oh my gosh, it's so hot today. And if we had a pup, this would be the perfect uh, little treat uh, on a hot day like today. And you can just, you can do this all summer long. I mean, just Absolutely. different, different recipes, different flavors. And like I said, in our tutorial, um, there will be a link in this post uh, or certainly one coming up tomorrow that we'll post. Um, and there are lots of different, couple different flavors and recipes that we have. All right. And it does, uh, I would say it, it, it can get messy. These are, they stay pretty well. If you pack them nice and tight, they stay pretty well uh, confined into the Kong or into your dog's mouth, but it'll get pretty slobbery and kind of gross around the outside of the Kong. So I would recommend either a place that's easy to clean or we did ours we started ours outside which That's i think worked out pretty well yeah. yeah 
yeah, you're going to want to think about the cleanup yeah. <laughs> for sure. But find a nice, cool spot in the shade and on a hot day, and they, they'll love it. All right, I'm and starting to squish my bananas in here now. And for Lulu, I would say it kept her busy for 20 minutes or so. Oh, that's so, great. Yeah. Most non-frozen Kongs, even if they're layered, they, it usually takes about 10 minutes to go through. Yeah. So this is, you know, 20, 25 minutes of lots of concentrated, focused energy and fun for, for your dogs. I think that's fantastic. So I have. Okay. And then the chips on top. Yeah, I'll putting that chips in there. And now I'm just gonna do a pretty big dollop. Oh, I should have mentioned, and I should have thought of this as myself. Um, you want to leave a little bit of space kind of down the middle to push that apple. Oh, that apple at the end. Okay. end. Okay. So you can kind of good call. Make yourself a little bit of a cavern there. Yep. And then. I'm just going to use spoon and finger to dollop this peanut butter in. Has anyone else tried these? I'd love to know uh, if anybody else has layered some Kongs and frozen them and given them as treats. And what what did your if, if so? What did your dogs think? And how long did it take them to work their way through it? What was their favorite ingredients or what was their favorite recipes that you've tried? Oh, I'd love that. Yeah, I'd love to know. That would be great. So again, it's a little messy on the top, but you can use your napkin to kind of clean things up a little. And just kind of pushing, pounding that down a little bit to get those ingredients to settle in there. Okay. And then we stick the apple. Yeah. The idea behind it, peanut butter is a pretty big treat on this one, but on some of your other Kongs, um, giving them a really simple win at the very beginning to get them kind of invested in. Uh, trying to work their way through it makes makes it a pretty fun for them. That's great. <laughs> like a little lollipop or a you know popsicle stick at the end of your Kong. So yeah. that I'm turned out gonna, really cute. Just gonna add a little bit more. My peanut butter is pretty soft, so I'm gonna add a little bit more to the bottom here. <laughs> this is so adorable. Do you think FedEx, if I freeze this, do you think it would get to your place still frozen? <laughs> I think that's pretty, <laughs> pretty unlikely. <laughs> so there's, aren't these adorable? Those are so cute. These are great. And we have um, a couple of other recipes, as Penny mentioned, on the post that'll go with this. Um, one that's a strawberry shortcake variety, mm -hmm. which that was a huge hit. And uh, one of the tips that I would say for that one, I used frozen strawberries to make it a little bit easier as I was um, layering that oh, one. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Plus, it'll help it freeze faster. These go in the freezer for what? About four hours to yeah. overnight, right? So yeah, I did overnight. overnight. Yeah. yeah. Whatever, whatever is going to work well for you. Yeah. And then just have them play in a nice area that you can uh, either like a linoleum floor or tile floor that you can clean pretty easily or take them outside in the shade and have them play uh, with their with their frozen conchsicle. I think yeah. they, would, they would love it. That would be great. My pups certainly did. So. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big hit around here. <laughs> that's awesome. I can't wait to see the pictures and the tutorial. I'm sure there's lots to, to see. So that's great. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Hillary, for this wonderful recipe and DIY Kongsicle today. This is a lot of fun. Thanks everyone. And um, if you want to, you know, keep informed on anything We Heart Hounds that we have going on, we do recipes like this, all sorts of other things, some pretty exciting things that are going to be happening in the near future. Um, you can sign up to our mailing list and we'll have a link in to let you uh, sign up for that in this post as well. 
that that's great thanks so much everybody again as always we truly appreciate each and every one of you we so love these friday get-togethers and are happy to spend some time with you enjoy your weekend with your family and your furry best friends thanks for everything have a great thanks. one bye-bye take care bye-bye